Fetch, Resample, and Reproject georeferenced raster images from one coordinate space to another using Microimages TNT MIPS GIS software. Begin at your Start menu, navigate to All Programs, scroll down to your Microimages folder, and expand out to select the license key that's appropriate. Since we're going to be batching, we have to have a full key, and so I'll select MIPS. And um, to resample and reproject, you go to the Image Toolbar, Resample and Reproject, and we're going to use the Automatic window. Um, and with other dialogues, you start by selecting the rasters that you want to extract. Um, you can navigate to um, from your computer to any hard drive that you have, um, or you can go to your uh, local folders, and I have a batch um, sample set here in Documents for us. Um, so inside Batch Resamp are eight files that have been already georeferenced and um, so I will just go ahead and say add all. Um, if I wanted to only do seven of them, I can select one of them and remove it and um, then I'll change my mind. I actually want to add that one back and add that single one. Um, that's a little bit about how the um, add all function works. So once you've selected your eight files, you'll go into settings and um, generally I like piecewise affine as my resampling model. Um, cell size and two projections stay the same. Uh, you always want to use average pyramids because that impacts how the output is displayed. Um, and your resampling method, um, they ha there are a variety of options um, and by cubic is the default method that I feel has the best output parameters. It takes a little bit longer than nearest neighbor and bilinear, but um, by far you get a better output. Um, and we're going to use the entire inputs, and I always opt for standard lossless compression whenever available. Um, so depending on um, how exactly you want your files to be processed, in this case um, we have georeferenced in NAD 27, North American Data 27, and um, I want to reproject it to um, NAD 83, uh, North American Datum 1983, and also to a UTM, uh, the appropriate UTM zone. Um, and for these files, I just already know that they're in UTM zone 12, but usually there should be metadata if you're unsure um, of what projection you want to resample to. So um, we navigate into our coordinate reference system window, and um, first we have to select our datum. And as we said, we want to go up to NAT83. which is under North American Datum 83, NAD 83. And then uh, the coordinate space is already set here to uh, two-dimensional, which the coordinates are entered in lat long, and so um, we'll leave it set to that. And then it's under predefined, or the projection, where we navigate through global and regional to universal transverse mercator, or UTM. And again, like I said, I know that I'm going to 12 north. So I'll say OK on that, and then you'll um, get a readout here that shows you your appropriate coordinate space. Um, so once all your parameters are set, just double check that your rasters are there. Um, and you'll notice that it populates with the information of the first raster in the list. Now if you're going to um, use files that are generally within a, a relatively similar geographic location, it's fine to do them in a batch. But you really don't want to batch resample, um, say, a file from Hawaii in the same batch with a file from Michigan because the coordinate spaces are going to be that much different. So um, so this batch, um, all these files are generally within the same location in Utah, so um, I will go ahead and say QJob. And um, it's pointing right back into my resample folder, and I don't want to get them confused with the input files, so I will call this batch resample NAD83 and say OK. And so now once it's pointed at the right folder, I can just say auto name and I'll carry forward the exact same file names from uh, the original files. And when I hit OK, the job manager pops up and I have it set at four jobs and so we can expand that out to see it's running the first four jobs and waiting on the second four. And um, 
So a final note on this window, if you are going to be batching um, you know, a series of different files in a row, um, some windows in MIPS you have to clear out the previous files before you can load up new files, otherwise it just collectively adds to the list. But in this um, particular module, um, I can uh, navigate to a different location where I know I have a georeferenced file. That one's not georeferenced. E1 is, okay. And so you can see that it removes the previous files and populates the new one. And of course this is actually in a different UTM zone, so if I were to go forward with this batch, um, I would want to reset. And you'll notice that this um, always defaults to same as input at the reference system. So um, I would change to a different UTM zone um, for that particular file. But I'm not going to queue that one up because uh, you get the gist of what's going on from these eight files and um, resampling and reprojecting does take a minute so uh, while we're waiting for that um, we will find our output folder and you can see that um, it creates that shell like we've uh, talked about in other tutorials that essentially a raster vector cat or an RVC file is like a geodatabase in which TIFFs and vector objects and databases can all be stored within. So when MIPS makes a new file it first creates a shell or an 8 kilobyte um, container that's waiting for the files to be processed and placed into that shell. Um, and we can even look again while we're waiting at file manager um, and look inside a file to see that um, once you drill within there are the tiers of the raster and then there is the georeference object which is essentially a vector object and then also there are um, red, green, and blue for the different bands histograms um, available for each of the bands so um, that gives you a little bit of a feel for um, what exactly it means to say that there's a container or a geodatabase file and uh, Getting close, I'm sure it's usually about two and a half minutes on um, a very fast machine, so it should populate through one of these in just a moment. So it took about uh, four minutes to process those files, and um, the reason that we waited for that is that I just wanted to show you through a display window that um, when we go to display that final output file, oh, you try to display when it's working on, it'll let you know. <laughs> cancel, cancel. I would like to open one that you're already done with, so we'll go with A8. Okay, and so um, you can see the tilt in the file as a result of the resampling from um, one projection to another, and also that the coordinates um, are registering as you move around the map window, and that just lets you know that the geo transfer was successful. Um, and you can right click and go to controls, which, like in ESRI, is right clicking and saying properties, and look at the um, details of the file. And you can see here that the geo reference is now NAD83 UTM zone 12, just as we specified we wanted our resample to do. So our batch process was successful. And that is batch resampling and reprojecting in TNT MIPS.